Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at access modifiers. Access modifier basically defines the level of access for the members of a class or object. There are five different access modifiers available in TypeScript. The first one is public. When you declare a member as public, you are basically saying that the member is accessible from within the class or object and also from outside the class or object. Whereas when you declare a property as private, you are basically saying that the member is accessible only from within the class or object. The third one we have is protected. Protected basically means you can access the member from within the same class or object where it is defined and you can also access it in any derived class or object. And then we have read only. Read only is little bit different from the three that we have seen above because you can use any of those three modifiers along with read only modifier. Basically, when you say read only, you are actually saying that once the value is assigned, you cannot change. And there are two places where you can assign value for any read only members. The first place is where it is actually declared. So at the time of declaration itself, you can assign a value or you can assign a value within the constructor. Other than these two places, you cannot assign value to read only property. And once the value is assigned, you cannot change it. So that's read only. And the next one is static. Similar to read only, you can combine static with public private protected modifiers. Static is a little bit different. Static is basically used to define member at a class level rather than creating a member for the object, which is uh, called an instance member. With a static, you'll be creating class level member. Let's see some example for these now. I have VS code open here with a class called person and this class has two members, name and age, and it also has a method called speak by default any member that you that you create without any access modifier will be public so this name age and the speak method all of these are public because this is public you can access these members name and age within the class as you can see here within the speak method we are accessing those members and you can also access these member from outside this class as you can see here, we have created two objects, John and Tom, and then we are actually calling this public method called speak. And I can also access the name, for example, if I want to access name of John, let's say John name, I can say John dot name because this is public member. I can access it from outside this class. Whereas if I change this to private, I can still access this member from within the class, but I cannot access it from outside this class. Actually, as you can see here, it says that you cannot access private member. So that's the difference between public and private. If I decorate this with protected, I can still access it from within the class, but I cannot access it from outside the class. But if I have created a derived class from this person, then I can access this name within the derived class. We'll see that in more detail when we look at inheritance and then we have read only. So read only basically says that you cannot change the value after it is initialized during the time of declaration or within the constructor. So if I make this read only, then what I'm basically saying is I can assign value for this uh, member at the time of declaration or within the constructor. In this case, we are assigning value within the constructor. If I try to change the value of this member somewhere outside the constructor, then TypeScript compiler will show error. So if I try to change this value, um, you can see here, it shows that you cannot assign because it's read only. So that's what read only is. And like we have previously seen, we can combine read only with other access modifiers like public, private and protected. If I say private, then it is still valid. This is a private member and it is read only. But because this is private, you cannot access it from outside the class. So that's what private is. Let's look at static now. Static basically says that uh, the, the member that you're creating as static will belong to the class itself, not to the object. What I mean by that is if you see these members, actually, even though we, you have declared these members within the class, these are still instance member. This means each object that you create from this person class can have different values for these members. 
Whereas if I create a static hands, it's going to be number type and I'm going to assign its value as two. So now I have created a static member called hands and assigned its value as two. And I haven't used any public private protected modifier, which means by default, this will be public. So this belongs to the class itself not to the object this means you cannot have different value for this hands member for each of the object that you create all the object will share the same value because this is defined at a class level you can access the static member uh, within any instance member for example i can access hands property here so if i say console.log to access class level properties you need to qualify it with class name so I'm going to say person dot hands, then this is valid, but you cannot do the other way around. Like you cannot create a static function, for example, called clab and I cannot access the instance member in this case, let's say name. So if I try to access name, it will complain saying that I cannot access instance member within a static function. So that's the difference. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.